If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. Starting off with the shoulders, they're gonna bring you to Hellfire Mythic. Kill Rock Deadeye is the boss, 12% on the drop rate, so it's a very good drop rate. Moving on, especially for Mythic. So you can't really see the chest behind the tabard, but if you really want to be precise, you can head over to Ulduar, pick this up from the Flame Leviathan. It's about a 5% drop rate. Moving on with the Lady Draenei, we have the Torched Brazed Waste Guard, Hellfire Citadel Mythic, same tier set as the shoulders. Drops from the Iron Reaver, 12% on the drop rate. The legs, part of the same tier set from Wrath of the Lich King. Ulduar, Razor Scale is the boss, 15% on the drop rate for the legs. Moving on to the boots, as we have a dude blood elf showing us the Boots of Living Scale. Wrath of the Lich King level leatherworking, or you could buy it on the auction house. The hands out of Ulduar again, so this is a little bit of Wrath of the Lich King mixed in with a little bit of Warlords of Draenor. The back gilded Thorian Cloak spins you to Karazhan BC version, Terrestrian Ilhof is the boss. 17% on the drop rate, Zandalari Troll showing the Cenarian Expedition Tabard, Stormwind Ogramar, Tabard Vendor, Golden Rep to get the head, Mountain Throne Coif, the Neltharian's Lair, Heroic Dark Rule is the boss. You can do that once a day, see if you get it. And the weapon, Wild Gladiator's Longbow, Warmongering if you're Horde. Here's an earthy brown gray tone, for works for hunters. Uh, shoulder Guards of Foul Streams, that of course is part of a Shaman tier set, but that's the part that the hunters can pick up. So that definitely works. I really like the way that looks. And the chess piece is Crackle Proof Chess Guard. Of course, that's what I think when I look at it. High Maul, Kogroth, which I'm sure I said wrong, but then again, it's not important to get it right. Uh, the Belt, Night Flight Chain, Town Long Steps, Shadow Pan Assault, Quartermaster. You can just step up by that belt. Definitely worth picking up. The chest are, is the same tier set as these legs, so it's always worth picking up. Black Rock Foundry, Beast Lord Darmac, kind of a low drop rate for the legs. And the boots are gonna spin you all the way to Netherstorm to the BC PVP vendor. Two marks of honor to get the Vindicators Chain Sabatons. Really worth getting. Great looking set of boots there. The hands pulverizing grips. High Maul, Femos, low drop rate, but worth the grind and the effort, I believe. And we have a Kul'Tiran dude showing you the Gilded Thorian Cloak out of Karazhan. Terrestrian Ilhoof is the boss, 17% drop rate, which of course is from Burning Crusade. And the head, part of the same tier set as none of the pieces in this set. And the weapon is the Huntmaster's Longbow. It's something you could buy from the Quartermaster. This is kind of a safari look for Hunter, so it works. Terrace of the Endless Spring Heroic. Lyshi is the boss, kind of a low drop rate to pick up the mop tier shoulders. And next up, the chest piece, which is also part of a set. It's one of those drop sets that you can get. This one is from Warlords of Drain All the Fun, which people want me to stop saying, so eventually I will. Or you could just step up, buy that piece on the auction house. The belt, belt of beloved companion, Dragon Soul LFR, Warmaster Blackhorn is the boss, kind of a low drop rate to pick up. The Kata Belt. Moving on, the legs, as I said, part of the same set as the chest. It's a nice piece or a nice set to pick up. It matches with a lot of other hunter gear. Gromar Battlemasters drop it, or you could just buy it on the auction house. And the feet, spins you to Vanilla Wow, Hamhide, he's rare who drops it, or you could just buy it on the auction house. It's your choice, obviously. And the hands are a part of that same vanilla set. Dust While on Marsh, there's the rare, and you could also buy that on the auction house. Both those pieces have north of a 10% drop rate. Moving on to the cloak, which is gonna spin you to BFA. Parrot Feather Cloak, Freehold. Sky Captain Crag, 11% on the drop rate. The headpiece. Stylin' Adventure Hat. This is a BC level leatherworking 
crafted piece or you could buy it on the auction house and the weapon is straight out of Dragon Soul LFR great drop rate. A little bit of Warlords of Draenor and Wrath of the Lich King. The shoulders, Blackrock Foundry, Operator Thogar, 13% on the drop rate. Gonna stick with Mel Draenei and show you the chest. Heroes, Crip, Stalker, Tunic, next round is 10 man, Gluth, 8% on the drop rate. The belt is gonna bring us back to Warlords of Draenor and a lady undead showing us the Torch Brazed Waste Guard, Hellfire Citadel, Iron Reaver, 12% on the drop rate. And the legs bring us to Warlords of Draenor, or more appropriately, Wrath of the Lich King. Hero Crypt Stalker's leg is part of the same tier set as the chest out of Naxxramas, normal 10 man. Thaddeus is the boss. Moving on to the feet, Hellstorm Sabatons. Yeah, that's what I always refer to my shoes as, Sabatons. Hellfire Citadel, Manoroth, kind of a low drop rate, but those boots really work well with this set. Moving on to the hands, as you can see out of Hellfire Citadel, Tyrant Vel Harry is the boss, kind of a low drop rate for the hands. And the cloak is straight out of the Battle of Dazzlehar, which is incorrect. <laughs> That's out of Gorgrond, it's a quest reward. And the headpiece is Heimal, the Butcher, 13% on the drop rate. And the final piece here is the weapon, which is Bow out of Firelands, Cash of the Fire Lord, 14% drop rate. Gonna start off with the shoulders, which are the Worm Stalker Spalders. Dragon Soul is the place. Hagger of the Stormbinder, 15% on the drop rate. Moving on, this is something that you could get out of either Legion or the Burning Crusade. Burning Crusade would be the Black Temple, Illidan Storm Rate, 60% on the drop rate for that old tier chest piece. Moving on, we have a dwarf with the belt, otherwise known as the Court of Dragon Sinew. Ogremar or Stormwind, Valor Quarter Points, or basically the Valor Quartermaster. There's no such thing as Valor Quarter Points. Grondstalker's Leggings, Black Temple, uh, Vera's Dark Shadow, 37% on the drop rate. So that's part of the same tier set from Burning Crusade. We have a Lady Hunter showing you the feet. Bone Shard Boots, Stormwind Ogremar, the Valor Quartermaster, 260 gold to get the boots. And next we're going to show you the hands, which are the Arrow Flake Gauntlets. Stormwind, Ogremar, Valor Quartermaster, 180 gold. By the way, you could also get the boots and the hands in Dragon Soul, same mode that you would get the shoulders, but you could buy them, so why not? Fortitude of Dying Ore, Gorgrond, uh, laying Dying Ore to rest. That's a quest reward for both Horde and Alliance, the head piece is a quest reward from the stockades. That's the Alliance name, but there's also one for the Horde. And Dragon Slayer Shortbow, which is a quest reward. Starting off with a brown and slight touch of green here. Demon Stalker Shoulder Guards, Gruul's Lair. That, of course, is from Burning Crusade, as you can see the boss, great drop rate on those tier shoulders from Burning Crusade. The chest, as you can see, Dalaran, Wrath of the Lich King, you could buy it from the male quartermaster there, 75 gold to pick up that chest piece. Moving on to Legion for the belt, Belt of Screaming Slag, that's a hell of a name for a belt. Tomb of Sargeras, uh, we're looking at Goroth as the boss, and 6% on the drop rate for that particular belt. Bring you back to Wrath of the Lich King and you can buy the legs in Dalaran. Basically 75 gold to pick up that old tier set that was straight out of Ice Crown, I believe. You could farm it there as well. Moving on the feet, Scandals of Summer, all major cities, Summer Festival Quartermaster, 200 Burning Blossoms to get the feet. They they really worked, so hopefully, hopefully you guys can pick that up. Uh, the Demon Stalker Gauntlets, Karazam BC, part of the same tier set as the shoulders from the Curator, 31% on the drop rate for those particular gloves. And the back, Gold Scar Pelt, Halls of Valor, Fenrir is the boss, kind of a decent drop rate. The head, 
Part of the same tier set as the shoulders and the hands. This one drops Last Boss and Karazhan. And the weapon, Black Bow of the Betrayer. Black Temple, Illidan Storm Rage, 20% on the drop. If you're still listening up and until now, I want to say thank you for watching. And I'll close out by saying what I always say. Whatever it is by you, whether it is morning, afternoon, or night, make your day 